Look, I know this seems crazy, but you have to bear with me. Booker Booker is a song made by Tally Hall for one of their jokes in Tally Hall's internet show, which revolves around this chicken who's basically just a dickhead, or for you Americans out there, a jerk. Jerk chicken. And Mucka Blucka was meant to be a hip hop song for the chicken. That is if you want to call it hip hop, you could also call it rap. A chicken rap. Can you believe it? Before we even listen to the song, we've already found meaning. But it goes way deeper. Because whether you want to believe me or not, it's now time to analyze the lyrics. Mucka Blucka is not just nonsense. The song is designed to try and mimic hip-hop phrases. And these lyrics have translations. Now, many, of course, are up for debate, but some aren't, with the most popular one being Mucka Blucka itself. Kids, cover your ears. It's mother And it's even used in context where the chicken Ross says, look out, mother I'm telling you, once you hear it, you can't unhear it. There's also Bluck, which is used for, well, guess. And even the last word of the song is a chicken expletive. Bitch. But there's still actually more for us to decipher, mainly by using what the chicken from the show says. For example, listen to how he says, hey girl. And then listen to this part of Mugga Blugga. It's the same. You can also listen to how he laughs. And then you can listen to this part of Mugga Blugga, which basically sounds like the same noises, just a bit slowed down. Almost as if you're pronouncing the laughter like you would in a song. But the genius doesn't stop there, because after carrying out an actual analysis of the most popular hip-hop phrases, because even though I only upload once every two months, I like to put effort into it at least. But anyways, I actually found some patterns. For example, the stupidly common use of using two-syllable words usually describing a person. Meaning if you were to put I'm or your in front of it, it would make sense. So this line from Mucka Blucka could actually be saying a lot of things. Let's say the first syllable is I'm, and then we'll take the most common two-syllable words from rap songs, which gives us, in order, I'm tripping, I'm tweaking, I'm nutting, I'm rolling, and I'm creeping. All of which makes sense because this song is designed to be the most generic rap song ever told in chicken noises. Hi, I have a quick editor's note. I also think it's worth pointing out that this isn't the first time a song like this has been made by the Tally Hall members. Some of you might know of La Frau Jabe. If you don't, it's a song that Joe Hawley made that's composed entirely of gibberish that sounds like French. And while it doesn't actually have any French words, it definitely does the trick. Joe Hawley also isn't the only English major in Tally Hall, so there's a very good chance that these guys have a grasp on language that most of us just don't have. But yeah, I think it's interesting that there's another song that's made of gibberish that sounds like something generic. But that's me done here, back to the video. Now I could go on for a very long time telling you about how I figured out a lot of other things in this song, but it was mainly just for me watching the chicken part of the show and then figuring out how he says things and that is boring and I also didn't log any of it so I can't remember but long story short I may or may not have spent a hell of a lot of time trying to translate as much of Mucka Blucka as possible now of course most of the song is not clear enough for me to say anything for sure but I think I gave it a pretty good shot and I did fill in some blanks to make sure it makes sense so without further ado here it is Mucka Blucka by Tally Hall with translated subtitles by yours truly enjoy <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 